guys here to do a review on my 16 millimeter Holland Bling Moist Night Prong Set Cuban that I got back in March when they first released. So this thing is just awesome for one. I'm gonna say that right now. But for two, there was a bunch of things that happened over the course of having it that I was kind of hmm. But hey, it's still an everyday wear. I wear this every day, like. Unless I'm doing work or like don't want to mess it up bad, I just it's every day for me. I just take it off and then put it right back on. <laughs> but the only things is there's one stone right there and two right there gone. That's the only thing, and I knocked them out. I know I did by accident. And just to be real, I'm gonna do it up in the close up. But in the close up, these links aren't soldered. And I know everybody has quality control issues. You just can't help that. Like, you can't oversee everything. You can't get everything perfect. That's just a fact of life. But this, I, for an everyday wear still, that's what it is now. Because at this point, I've gotten my love out of it. So, but this thing is pretty freaking big. Look at this. And on my wrist, it's like... And that sleek lock is freaking huge. If you were thinking the 16, this is a super statement piece. You are going to get noticed with this on. I'm not joking. And I, you see what I have on. <laughs> so, all of it together comes clean in this thing. So, with the links not being soldered, I popped two off and made it a 7 and a quarter inch, which fits beautifully, as you can see. It will fit beautifully. Well, let me get to the close-ups to you guys before the sun goes away for the day. And uh, we'll come right back. You guys go. Wrist profile real quick. In the sun, the dust sun. This is kind of like not good lighting at all. But as you can see, this is my hitting this piece. Besides my ring I got, my big 3.1 carat ring. So that's the, the wrist profile. It's just a little bit, but it gives just enough where there's play, and it's very comfortable. So seven and a quarter is perfect for me. And there's the, you can see that, but I will show you the links not soldered in a minute. I just want to get that shine, so right back in there, now the sun picked up a little bit, ooh, ooh. So you guys can see this, I'll talk about the flaws all right now. As you've seen the shine factor, everything, but this is the trials and tribulations I had to go through. <laughs> so if I can get the focus, that link right here isn't soldered. There was one I just looked at, that one right there. These two are on the same side knot. And a lot of these aren't, but I can't even fault that. Because you can't quality control literally everything to a perfect T. Some things happen... Some drops are like better than others. It's just a fact of life. You get lucky, lucky, and sometimes, hey. Now, this is what I wanted to get to. This, the sleek lock, is the damage. Damage. Because it perfectly closed, snapped really good, everything. But now, after seven, like probably four months in, three months in, like right at the start of the summer, it would not close any, it was doing this, like that. Like really, really bad, like that. So bad, it was unreal. But now, I had to jank it, and this is what happened. That's the only damage, but that's on the underside. It's on the inside, but you're not gonna ever notice that to me, and I could care less, because I've got my fun and life out of it, so, but look at this snap. That ain't coming off. I can't even open this one-handed. There's not happening. So if somebody wanted to rip this off, they have to rip that baby off. <laughs> so I'm happy with that right now for what I what I got out of it. This is still like, even with this, this is still better than anything you can get for definitely the price point anywhere. I'm telling you that for a fact. All my pieces have withstood everything. This is the only piece I've lost any stones out of. Because I purposely messed it up on accident. It wasn't purposely, but accidentally. You know, accidents happen. Things happen. But I wanted to give you guys a real world review on this. The rest of the video you guys can skip at this point. It's just tidbits of this and that. Just random stuff. But if you guys enjoyed, 
give a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. See you guys next time. If you don't stay, enjoy yourselves. Hope you like the review. Guys, back again. I know this review is long, and I actually just set this down in the kinks, but look. This is really easy to pop. Boom. Two kinks, done. Not even five seconds. So I know you guys like the hang straight test. This does not hang straight. And if I do this and turn it a little bit, it does. But like if I move it, it kind of doesn't. And just so you guys know, it should, bracelets this size should really have a, a bit of a twist. Because the way you want it to wrap all the way around your wrist and be fluid so it doesn't kink. And even when I had the big size, this never kinked. Like the 8 inch, it never kinked. So that was pretty cool. But with your change, you want just a slight. So when it comes down like right here, it doesn't twist or kink at a certain size. And if it comes down a little bit, it actually curves perfectly around like the sh your shirt neck. <laughs> hey guys, thank you for staying to the end of the video. The very, very end. You guys rock. If you give a thumbs up, comment some info, feedback, whatever, give me some tips on how to improve or anything or what you'd like to see more, hey, give me some feedback. Love it. Thank you, guys. Peace and love. Rock out. Have a good night, good day, whenever you're watching this.